Welcome to the SCLP tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will introduce the NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core GPU. Graphical processing units were originally designed for graphic display, but they turned out to be massively powerful in computation. SCLP has offered a variety of consumer grade GPUs since the very beginning. For example, the RTX 3090. In a first for Department of Economics, we are offering A100 data center GPU access. The main advantages of the A100 GPU are memory and speed. Before having A100s, SCRP offered two types of GPUs, the top of the line RTX 3090 and the mainstream RTX 3060. The RTX 3090 has 24 gigabytes of memory while the RTX 3060 has half of that. The A100, in contrast, has 80 gigabytes of memory, allowing you to load a much larger model or more data. When it comes to speed, both the RTX 3090 and the RTX 3060 excel in single and half precision computation. The A100 is, however, even faster. This is particularly true for double precision computation, which is often necessary for scientific computation. In this specific area, the A100 is over 15 times faster than the RTX 3090. Now for reference, by default, Stata works in single precision while MATLAB and R works in double precision. If your computation is heavy on matrix multiplication, the tensor core performance is the more relevant matrix. Tensor cores are compute units dedicated to matrix multiplication, providing several times the performance over other operations. Here, once again, the A100 is much faster than the other options. It is worth noting that a single A100 is faster than the fastest supercomputer in the world from 20 years ago. Finally, the A100 has many times the inter-GPU bandwidth than the other options, which could be an important consideration if your computation requires the use of multiple GPUs. To see how fast the A100 really are, I will now run through several scenarios. The first scenario simulates a situation where you pass data to the GPU for computation. We first generate a big matrix with CPU, pass it to a GPU, perform two tests of matrix multiplications, and then sum the result. So here we set the uh, dimension of the matrix to be uh, 20,000 times 20,000. Using a GPU is generally much faster than CPU, but the numeric precision you use is going to have a big impact. If you need double precision, only the A100 is going to accelerate your computation. Next, we will spread the two matrix multiplications over two GPUs. So now we're going to copy the data from main memory to the two GPUs, and they are each going to perform one set of matrix multiplications, and then we add the results. Will this result in faster speed? Perhaps surprisingly, this is only true for double precision computation. The reason is that computation is bottlenecked by the time it takes for data to be transferred from main memory to GPUs. With that in mind, we will try to generate the data on GPU instead followed by the same computation as before. Moving data away from the CPU and main memory result in significantly faster speed. What takes 12 seconds on a modern 16 core CPU only takes 200 milliseconds on an, an A100. We therefore have three observations. First, for low precision computation, any GPU is fine. Second, for high precision computation, you need the A100. Third, CPU to GPU data transfer is a major bottleneck, so it should be avoided as much as possible. Finally, I would like to present some benchmarks on neural network model performance of the A100. For both training and inference, you can expect around 80% speed up over RTX 3090 due to a combination of more memory and faster computation. The two A100 GPUs are installed in the new SCRP Node 10 Compute Node. To request them with the compute command, specify hyphen hyphen GPUs, 
hyphen per hyphen task equals A100. And optionally, you can provide the number of GPUs you want after colon. So if you want a single GPU, this is how you do it. And if you want two A100s, then you would have to specify colon two after A100. The compute command automatically allocates eight CPU cores and 160 gigabyte of memory per A100. If you use srun, you need to specify the A100 partition plus your desired number of CPU cores and memory. So these are the examples of commands you could use. Finally, you can request A100s on Jupyter Hub Slurm for up to three hours. Let's try it out. First, I'm going to demonstrate using the compute command and the srun command. So open the terminal. Compute command is our SCLP specific command, which just does the sum of the automated tasks and it's based on srun. So compute hyphen hyphen GPUs hyphen per hyphen task equals A100. And uh, if you don't provide any command, it would launch a batch shell by default. There we go. We now connect it to SCRP not 10. If you type NVIDIA SMI, you can see that you have one GPU. If you include colon two at the end, you're gonna get both. A100 GPUs to see that they are actually connected uh, through NV link. You can type NVIDIA SMI topo hyphen M. This will show you that these two GPUs are connected by 12 lanes of NV link. All right. If you ask run, there are several things you have to do on your own, first of all. If you need a pseudo terminal for a shoe, then uh, you will need to type hyphen hyphen PTY. Uh, if you need X11 forwarding for MATLAB GUI, for example, then you have to type that too. And then the, you would have to specify the partition hyphen P A100, then hyphen hyphen GPUs per task. You don't have to specify A100 because the A100, A100 partition only has A100. So you can just directly specify the number of GPUs you want. And uh, followed by hyphen C, that's the number of CPU cores you want. For example, you can have 32 of them, which is the maximum on this node. And memory 500, once, uh, that's the node has up to 512 gigabytes of memory. And then, well, because this is S run, you actually have to specify the command you want to run. Okay, so it just gives you this the same not because right, so it's working. Now let's try Jupyter Hub Slurm. So here you get to choose which compute node you want, and as you see, you can choose uh, A one hundred single one or uh, A one hundred two of them. So let's try the two of them. So it take a moment for the instance to launch on the compute knot. And uh, here you go. So this instance of Jupyter is running on the compute knot. We can see that by opening a terminal. And once again, type NVIDIA as a mine. You can see that you have two A100 GPUs. If you want to see whether the nodes are actually available, then you can type SCRP info. And you see that right now, uh, the A100 nodes, uh, both A100s have been allocated because well, we, I request both of them. And uh, if no one is using them, you should see that uh, the GPU A100 should be colon zero, right? So a uh, couple of notes when, if you're using Jupyter Hub Slurm, once you're done, please go to Hub Control Panel and choose Start My Server. Otherwise, the A100 GPUs would not be released even if you close the browser. So you would have to actually press Start My Server. Uh, there is a three hour limit uh, when you're using Jupyter Hub Slurm. 
If you need longer, uh, you simply need to request the GPUs with compute or S run through a terminal. So that's it for using the A100 GPUs. We hope that the new equipment is going to help you research 